which tells us whether our new penguin is a boy or a girl. That way we don't end up with any more girls named Pedro. I've got a very scruffy penguin on the rocks here. Her name is Alexandra. She was found at New Brighton Beach, struggling to swim in the waves. So someone picked her up and they took her to a bird rescue. But once there, they found that Alex is blind in her right eye but she has brain damage down that side, so she's probably had a very nasty knock to her head. Now she's looking incredibly scruffy at the moment, but don't worry, she's not sick. Alex is currently molting. Molting is when a penguin will lose all of its old feathers and grow on a fresh new coat. Every bird has to molt. Most birds will lose a few feathers at a time over a few months, but penguins can't do that. Instead, they have to lose all of their feathers as quickly as possible and grow more back as quickly as possible too. Because while the penguin is molting, it's not waterproof, and so it can't go out to sea to catch its fish. So Alex is currently packing on as much weight as she possibly can, because within a couple of days, she's going to go to her bed to lose all of those feathers, and she won't come out again until she has her new coat grown in. That could take up to three weeks. That's three weeks with no food. So it's a very tough time for a penguin, and that's why she's looking so big and so scruffy at the moment. I've got a penguin up on the rock here. Her name is Lizzie. Lizzie here is our newest penguin and our youngest penguin. She's only just turned one year old. She was also found at New Brighton Beach, very underweight, and once she was taken to a bird rescue, they found that she has a paralyzed left flipper. So have a close look at her and you'll see that she holds her flippers at different angles. This makes swimming very difficult for her. Now being both our newest and youngest penguin, Lizzie's still learning how to get along with her new neighbours. She's not always the most polite penguin to the other penguins. And if you watch her today, you may notice her hassling them a little bit. And this penguin right here, her name is Turk, which is short for turkey. We turkey then eat her food slightly differently to the other penguins because she has a paralyzed tongue. So she can't grip her fish to pull it into her beak by herself. Instead she needs a penguin keezer to put her fish far enough into her beak for her and she can then swallow it down the rest of the way using her throat muscles. Now, as well as a paralyzed tongue, turkey's blind in her left eye and has brain damage down that side. But this has all happened because while she was surfacing out at sea one day, she was hit on the back of the head by a jet ski. So Turkey's very lucky that the person who hit her was able to stop and rescue her because she would not have survived out in the wild by herself. But she's lived here with us for about 12 years now, so she's doing very well. And in fact, Turkey's one of our sweetest penguins. Anytime we get a new penguin in, she's the first friend that they'll make. But don't let that sweet face fool you. If you're watching me feeding her and thinking to yourself that you'd also like to hold a penguin or even pat one, think again. The only reason that I'm able to hold Turk right now is because I have fish. And as soon as my fish bucket's gone, it's back to biting the penguin keeper. Now every penguin bites, and penguins have a very nasty bite. Their beak is almost as sharp as a knife along the edge. They've got a hook on the end, and they've got very strong jaws. As well as all of that, when a penguin bites you, it's not just going to give you a quick nip. Instead, that penguin will grab onto whatever it can reach, and it will twist and rip. In fact, we had a penguin keeper in the past who had to go to the hospital and get stitches after being bitten by one of our penguins. So you would never want to try to touch a live penguin because you would get bitten. And speaking of biting, Alex right here next to me is our worst biter. She's our nippiest penguin. Uh, but she's very nice to the other penguins, luckily. Now once our penguins finish their breakfast, you may see some penguins standing around and shaking their flippers. You see a penguin that's shivering? Don't worry, they're not cold. They are New Zealand penguins and they're used to our climate. They're also not scared. They're being lovely and quiet and they're used to having people around. Now, the reason why you might see a shaking penguin is because they have a full belly. Once a penguin has eaten some fish, the brain sends a signal down to the ends of its flippers and tells them to shake to get that fish out fast. It only takes one hour for the fish to go from beak to tail, and it's more cleaning for the penguin keepers to do. All right, 
right guys, it looks like our penguins have all finished with their breakfast. But coming up after penguin feeding, there will be a few things for you to do. There'll be an Antarctic Storm 4D movie and penguin ride. So if there's anything that you haven't tried yet, make sure you check with our guides in the building and they'll be able to tell you exactly what time those are coming up. Otherwise, if you have any questions, stick around. Our penguin keepers will be here for a bit longer and we're more than happy to answer anything for you. Thank you all so much for coming.